This right here is a cool moment. Yes, sir. Light as a feather, too, man. Man, check that out right there. <laughs> All right. Boom. All right, Jason, get that center section. Hey, guys, what's going on? Houston Kilby here. We're back at you with another one. And today's episode, we've got some brand new pit pal race ramps to go on our race car trailer for the GTO. Um, I've been waiting on these for a little while now, and man, pit pal knocked these things out. Me and Jesse's kind of been ghetto fied on the trailer for a while now. Yeah, man. And it's, it's Hope and prayer good. and a lot of eyeballs towards the front of the car. <laughs> it's been awful. It's been awful. <laughs> it's time to fix that problem, and pit pal has the solution to that problem. These are hinging ramps, okay? So what that means is, you install these hinges on there, it comes with the kit when you buy these things. They get riveted on, and they also get riveted on to the trailer, okay? And we'll go out there and I'll show you guys our situation on that thing. We gotta remove the existing ramp that's on it. We'll get that dude off, and we'll get these deals lined up, and we'll get the holes drilled out, and we'll get these things riveted on too. But these things are really cool. They'll hinge back, they'll be out of the way, and uh, you know, once you get your dimensions all set up, you don't have to worry about it no more. When you get to the track or get to your event, you sling these things down, you back a car out, and then you're done. You sling them back up, and, and you're done. There, there you are. Yeah, man. So guys, let's get these things installed, and uh, you guys sit back and enjoy. Alrighty guys, I thought I'd flip these dudes around so that way you guys can see them. That's the front side there, and this is the back. Uh, man, the quality on these things are really nice. Uh, they're super strong, and uh, man, I think it's well well worth the money. So if you guys are interested in getting a set of these, uh, Jesse kind of zoom in there and show them the welds and stuff. Yeah, man. These things are top quality. Um, I even looked up the prices on the material and stuff because I was going to build my own set, but guys, you can't... You can't build these things for what the price is of them. You just can't do it. So uh, I, I was like, you know what? We're going to buy a set and we don't have to fab them up. So let's get them on there. Alrighty guys, put these hinges on. Just make sure this, this rib right here is facing up, okay? And all you gotta do is center this dude up, right? I just centered the, the hinge up, made me some marks. We're gonna drill these dudes out and get this bad boy ribbed it on there. So let's get after it. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Golly, that's some bad boy rivets right there. No doubt, man. He puts a pumpkin in that thing. Yeah, no joke. Alrighty guys, we end up doing the rest of our rivets with an air hydraulic riveter. Um, this thing worked crazy, crazy good and made short work out of those rivets. We done one rivet with that red gun and... No count, man. All, especially against those steel rivets. You oh. put all the punk and you got them suckers. It made dudes ain't much. I was like, no, nope. we done the first one. Like, man, this is, I was afraid I was going to break a gun in half. So yeah. I was like, you know what? I forgot we had this thing back there in the back and uh, we pulled this old dude out and did the job. All right, guys, it's time to get that old original ramp off there. Uh, it just had a bunch of Phillips head screws in it. So I'm gonna get this deal screwed off here and uh, get this thing out of the way. So here we go. We got that thing out of the way. It's time to start working on our pit pal ramps and see what these dudes are gonna look like on there. Heck yeah, man. We are rocking in a row now. So uh, something else I'm seeing over here my trailer is kind of down in a hole and you'll see me kind of step on the ramp here yep right there so now everything's starting to look better i was kind of scared for a minute so there you guys go 
Alrighty guys, we got an old Delphi strip lamp pro LED headlamp to talk about today. Uh, they sent us a couple of these things to test out and see what we thought about them. And I tell y'all what, they work pretty handy. Uh, if you got a race car or a hot rod and you're in the dark and you need yourself a headlamp, this is a headlamp for you. Uh, so go use our discount code and a link below. All right guys, so here it is up close and personal. Uh, this thing works pretty daggum good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, this is the box that comes in. Uh, they sent us two of these things for us to test out and stuff, and that is the charger for it as well. Uh, that's probably one of the top two things I like the most about it is that it doesn't take batteries, that you just charge it in this charging port back here. You turn it on right there. You got your, your big light on. It dims it down. Then it'll turn the side light on, and you can dim it down, and then it's off. Uh, very, very useful tool, and I just like how lightweight it is, and I think you guys will like it too. All right, guys, so this was our old ramp right here. We just unscrewed it and unbolted it. And we're actually going to cut this dude down and we'll fit it in between these two. So that way it'll be easy to get our golf cart and stuff up yeah, in here. Yeah, man, get the little workhorse up in there a lot better. <laughs> Dang skippy. All right, so uh, we need to hammer down. Uh, these ramps also do fold back and uh, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. So, yeah, guys, let's hammer down. Jesse, go up in there and show them what our rigged up ramps was before we were using them wood yeah ones. dude it was it was crazy it was either aiming and shooting is all that deal was yep so there was our ramp yeah pretty much and that little one yeah i think yeah wasn't it? Yeah. yeah and that went my, yeah it was awful it, it was a mess so front of the car was hitting the bottom it was hitting so much it was about to bring up the hinge on the old flap that come off the back of the tailgate yeah it was crazy so anyways we always had to line those up so you always had to have another guy out here and and those are really bad about flipping up too yep. and doing weird stuff that actually happened on us <clears throat> when we was unloading it this yeah. one of these just went kicked to the side <laughs> yeah and it makes for a mess too so yeah. this is to fix that problem so uh what we're doing is now it's time to get these dudes lined up um what you want to do is is get the center line of the door Okay, that's this black line right here. It's my center line, all right? And also measure the center of where your wheels are gonna be at, all right? And all you gotta do is divide that by two, measure out to here. There's where the center of this one needs to be. And then measure out to here. There's where the center of that one needs to be. So we're gonna drill these out and riveted these bad boys down. So let's get after it. Alrighty guys, we're inside the Jonesboro Armory right now, and I want to give you guys a little bit of walkthrough here. Definitely a big shout out to them. They're a major sponsor for us, for the GTO, and they even got our shirts in here as well. So if you're down here in Jonesboro and you pick you up a new firearm or some ammunition or any types of accessories and parts and all kinds of goodie stuff, be sure and get you a Full Metal Goat shirt as well. And uh, definitely a big shout out to them. We can't thank them enough. So give you guys a quick little walk around through here, let you guys kind of see all kinds of goodies of what they got. And uh, you guys be sure to come down here and say hello and make sure to tell them that Houston Kilby sent you their way. But anyways, guys, we'll get back at it and thank y'all for watching. Golly, Jesse, you got you a buddy over there, don't you? Yeah, I know. It's been an all-day deal. He's just been wanting attention from Jesse, I reckon. You got that right. <laughs> well, guys, check it out. Uh, we are getting in there now. Um, that side, I'm kind of in a hole down in there. That's why you got to see a gap right there on the ramp. But that's why y'all seen the video, too. Jesse was standing on over there so we get our dimensions right. Yeah. But, guys, there it is. Uh, went ahead and put the center ramp in. Just reused it. And that way, 
when we go to load and unload our golf cart, we'll be in good shape. But yeah, man, Jesse, dude, it, we're Kilby and Gardner Trailer Repairs is coming on. It might on. be a thing one day. <laughs> it might be a thing. But guys, it's looking good. After get, we paint it, we pretty much restored two trailers over here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We get this trailer painted we we will have golly well guys i'm gonna get some montage of this let you guys see that and then we'll even show y'all a little something on the golf cart too just so y'all yeah, get man. to see it oh okay. yeah all right mr jesse show the folks at home what we used to have to deal with here yeah we used to put these dudes on the end of this trailer just like this to get that car up on the on the actual tailgate of the trailer and that was a pain in the butt because every Bad. once in a while the dang tire would come off to the side right here and flip that thing over. It was a bad deal. It was a bad deal. And <laughs> I'm glad that in the past. Got these nice dudes. Check that out. Pretty much Cadillac, Jack. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. We're in style now. Yeah, that'll cut a lot, of, a lot of drama out. We can enjoy our day at the track, have a good time. We won't be fighting equipment here and there, ha struggling, all kinds of that drama. And... We just keep it simple and easy. <laughs> That's right, guys. And uh, definitely a pit pal. Big shout out to them. They made yeah. a great product. It was very easy to install. And I think it's going to save me and you a lot of stress. You're dang right, man. Yeah, it ain't no more hit. Uh, Houston holler, keep your own front of the car. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> uh, we are worried about tearing some stuff up bad. Yeah, but exactly. This fixed the problem. Pit pal, suggest them, buy them, get them, put them on your trailer and be in good shape. Yeah, man. All right. This right here is a cool moment. Yes, sir. Light as a feather, too, man. Man, check that out right there. <laughs> All right. Boom. All right, Jesse, get that center section. Look at that. It's like, it looks like we know what we're doing. <laughs> Dude. It's like the... The trailer Mahal, you know? Too dad burn good to be true. <laughs> Golly, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so you guys go. Worked out good. Uh, we'll we'll test it and close it, make sure the door closes. Yeah, we but... was talking earlier, we might get us some two good size long bungee straps and strap it as the door shuts. Yeah. That way these things won't be hitting against the back of the car. Yeah, maybe put where like these screws are right here. Maybe pull one of these out and put like a a j hook or something right here or some sort of d hook or something that way we can run a strap all the way across to keep these from flapping while we're going down the road because we don't want it to hit the back side of the car but uh yeah man jesse we're, we're i like good. them dude this is this is this is legit i like it man it turned out nice let's yeah. go in there and show them some stuff on the golf cart and end this video out here yeah man good lord man what are you doing ah uh, man Using some of this race oil, get my beard all straightened out. It's all messed up on me. Dude. I understand. We we always do this, but guess what? You're the one that told me about this new sponsor that just come on board. Stiffy's Beard Shop. Exactly, man. Come on now. What am I doing? I had some on standby, and check this out, guys. Some real Johnson City special. You're going to have to get this on, dude. I'm telling you. Heck yeah, man. I'll do that. I'll get some of that ladies' man oil on there, and I'll be in good shape. You Come dang on. right, man. We'll pick a whole 10 mile an hour on the big end, dude. I'm telling you. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, guys. We're looking good now. Big shout out to Stiffy's Beard Shop. All right, Jesse, we're in the trailer here. Yeah, man. <laughs> and uh, our golf cart, this one had a, what, a truck, truck bed? Truck bed, yeah. Truck bed on it. And we've been looking for a while on Facebook. Big for a shout while. Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to John Fields. He had one yeah, uh, sitting in his backyard. So this is the frame for it and also the foot uh, rest area. But uh, won't move right now we've got a springs. mounted in here and stuff, and we're going to make some clearance down here around these leaf springs so that this step will still hinge, and that way we've got as much room as possible. But we've got us a back seat for it, 
Yeah, way. man. Thanks, John. I'll be back at the track one day when my 55's done. I want some more of them waffles. <laughs> That's right, man. That's right. Well, guys, I think it's going to wrap uh, us up for this episode. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah. And, man, check those ramps out, dude. I, I dig it, thanks. They're I nice. dig it, too. Heck, yeah. See y'all in the next one. Jesse, you got to say your thing. Oh, yeah, dang. It's like and share, like and share, like and share. And you have a party on YouTube. We'll be right there with you. And paint that subscribe button a big old bold gray across the screen. <laughs> That's right. Paint that thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, guys. We're out of here. guys so much for watching make sure you are subscribed to the channel don't forget to go over to killmersports.com where we've got all kinds of merch over there and all kinds of high performance products as well and definitely a big shout out to our sponsors and partners till next time you guys have a good one